Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for August, Friday the 13th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So, so now we're looking at the S&P 500, and we're trading at the moment at 4,459, making uh, uh, new highs today, and at the moment it kind of looks like we're heading towards 4,500. So um, that will be basically the top of the bullish band and uh, we will be approaching overbought conditions. So we should see a minor pullback um, at that point. So the 50 moving average, the 20 expansion moving average have been massive support for a very long time. And expectation is still that pullbacks towards the 50 and the 20 expansion are basically buying opportunities as long as this trend basically holds, which has been holding for more than a year now. So we haven't seen a massive pullback below the 50 moving average since basically March last year. So MACD is actually flat at this point. The stochastic is flat and the RSI is bullish. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones also rallied, it did pull back and then rallied the end of the session, getting very close to the top of the Bollinger Band. So pullback could be expected. Uh, 35,515 uh, 35, is where we're trading at this point. MACD is very bullish, stochastic is very bullish, and so is the RSI. But we are getting very overstretched. So pullbacks towards the middle of the Bollinger Band, roughly 35K. That should be where um, we'll find support. Next target will mostly be 36K. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ has bounced from the middle of the Bullinger Band, which is a very good sign. Very strong here. So now it kind of looks like we're going to target 15,500. So same here, 50, uh, 50 moving average, 20 exp exponential moving average have been holding very well for a very long time. And this is just another, looks like just another uh, buy on the dip um, at this current stage. If we drop below the 20 exponential, then we could drop towards the lower part of the bullish band or the 50 moving average, roughly at the 14,588. MACD is still bearish, stochastic is also bearish, and the RSI is flat at this point. So let's look at Jerome DAX. So Jerome DAX got to uh, roughly 16k at this point there should be quite a lot of resistance here and a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band or the 20 exponential down here at give or take 15,700 that should be where a buyers could come back in and um, and basically buy the so the upside after 16,000 16,500 will most like will most likely be the next target or 16,250 and then 16 uh, 0.5. MACD is still very bullish, stochastic is flat, and RSI is flat as well. The around 15k is basically the bottom of this market. Every single time we have gotten close to 15k, there has been a lot of buying in this market. But at the moment, we're getting fairly overstretched here in the bullish band. Usually, we tend it tends to pull back to the middle of the bullish band or the bottom and then continue its rally. We're also fairly high in the RSI, so it could stay here for a while, but pullbacks are at this point kind of inevitable. So UK 100. So same here for UK 100. We uh, we did pull back a little bit and then we rallied. We have actually touched the top of the bullish band, and as you can see, every time we get basically close to the top, it tends to break down quite violently either to the middle which is at this point, it's at 7,557, or even the bottom, which is roughly, give or take, 6,874. So MACD is bullish, stochastic is flat, and RSI is flat as well. We're getting very overstretched here, and we still have some room to the upside in the RSI. So let's look at the China 50. So China 50 started it started its decline uh, today, which I kind of expected uh, to happen. We got here a barely shooting star. So every single time we got into the middle of the bullish band, 20 or 50 moving or 20 expansion moving average, this has broken down recently. So broke down, broke down, and now it looks like we're going to break down yet again. So we 
did break below uh, these uh, candlesticks here. If we take out this one, which is roughly 15,155, uh, then we're most likely going to go towards 15,000 and then the very bottom here, taking out this very low, roughly 14,536. Uh, then this was, is most likely going to drop to 14, uh, 14K. Not looking very good for the Chinese uh, indice, but uh, if you look at MACD, it is still bullish, stochastic is bullish, and RSI is negative. So we did rally quite a bit after this massive fall, recovered, and then ran into massive resistance here in the uh, middle of the bullish band. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support your channel by subscribing and hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.